What's up? What's happening? What is popping? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great edition of Simone with the Spizzards. I'm Simone bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here and haven't already subscribed to my channel, stop what you're doing. Leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first one is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. If you want to make a contribution to the channel so I can help grow um, and fund some things I have coming up, make sure you buy me a coffee with the link down below. But also make sure you guys leave a comment and subscribe but also turn your notification bells on because you don't want to miss a single video or a single live stream and i promise i will be going live a lot more once this month of april is over this month of april is crazy for me um so i haven't had time to really record or go live but once april is over there will be more live streams so make sure you guys have your notification bells on um, so you don't miss a single thing, especially when we get to the NFL draft, have your notification bells on. But y'all, let's go ahead and get into some news for today. Let's go ahead and get into some top 30 visits. The NFL draft is around the corner. Some new Eagles will be getting their wings, baby. Some new Eagles will be getting their silver wings and will become a part of Bird Gang family. The draft is one of the most exciting times of the year, and we have some more of top 30 visits that are officially um, official. Now, the top 30 visits give you us a real indication of who the Eagles might draft in the first two rounds because you only have 30 of these. You are not going to waste them on a guy that you are not particularly interested in. You're not going to waste it on a position that you are not particularly interested in. So let's go ahead and get into some more reported top 30 visits for the Eagles. So Northern Iowa defensive tackle Christian Boyd has uh, had a top 30 visit schedule. Boyd had like a really big um, Shrine Bowl performance, and then he he got a lot of interest from um, a lot of teams after his Shrine Bowl performance. So that's the defensive tackle, y'all. We're going to track like what position groups we're looking at because that's really going to show what the Eagles are interested in. So we also um, had a visit with Kansas State offensive lineman Cooper Beebe. We also visited with Boston College offensive lineman Christian Mahogany. Also, Oklahoma offensive tackle Tyler Guyton. Tyler Guyton is the one who Lane Johnson has a close relationship with. Lane Johnson was like, this is the next me. Um, that's my little brother. Really strong relationship with um, Lane Johnson, but I doubt Tyler Guyton is going to fall to pick 22 where we're at. TCU offensive lineman Brandon Coleman. Michigan guard Zach Zenter. So that is one, two, three, four, five, five offensive linemen um, that the Eagles visited with. We'll see if there's any more, but the, the, the Eagles are heavily looking at offensive line. Texas A&M linebacker Edgerton Cooper, somebody that we're all really excited about as Eagles fans. USC wide receiver Brendan Rice. Could y'all see us going wide receiver in the first round? I definitely think we need some more wide receiver depth, but... First round pick for a wide receiver? Let me know what y'all think. Um, Northern Iowa defensive tackle, Christian Boyd. Georgia State offensive tackle, Travis Glover. So that's the sixth offensive lineman already. Um, Texas A&M wide receiver, Anaya Smith. UCLA defensive end, Leitu Latu. Kentucky linebacker, Trevin Wallace. Western Michigan defensive end, Marshawn Neelands. Um, several teams obviously looking at Marshawn Nealon, uh, Penn State defensive end Chop Robinson. So that's two, that's three defensive ends that uh, we're visiting with. Kentucky cornerback Andrew Phillips, Mississippi cornerback DeCamarion Richardson, Florida State cornerback J J Jarion Jones. Oh, so that's like, well, how many cornerbacks is that? One, two, three. That's four cornerbacks um, and about seven offensive linemen that we visit that that's visiting, and then several defensive end as well. So what's heavily so far is offensive line, cornerback, um, defensive end. Florida State DB Sean Stevens, Washington offensive lineman Troy um, Fontenu. So that's like eight offensive linemen that we've met with so far, and Wake Forest cornerback Kalen Carson. So. Those are the top four, top 30 visits that's been reported so far. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So about 22 top 30 visits have been has been scheduled or has so far for the Eagles, and we see a common theme. Offensive linemen so far out of the 22 offensive linemen are dominating. It's about eight offensive linemen. It's about six cornerbacks um, and like four defensive ends representing in the um, so far for the Eagles. Um, 22 out of 30 top visits. So we're getting an inclination of what the Eagles are interested in. Um, offensive lineman, obviously heavy, cornerback heavy, and defensive end is looking heavy for me as well. What do you think about these names? Do any of these names jump out to you? Is there anyone else that you want to see the Eagles visit? Is there someone on the list that you do not want us to draft? And what position do you think the Eagles should go with number 22? What position? Because I feel like we could go a lot of different ways. But y'all, let me know what you think. Make sure you like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Keep up with me. Check out the links down below. And that's how I talk to you guys next time. Bye.